guys, this is Abhishek and uh, in this video I'm going to talk about why pickup is a cheat code uh, for living a life of abundance like an emperor who has tons of women in his life. You know, if you are living a normal kind of life, like, you know, if you have your social circle, your your you know group of friends in a social circle uh, where there are like uh, probably ten or twenty girls, but also there are like tons of guys, and this is the circle you usually uh, end up uh, communicating with, uh, hanging around with, and there's like very limited pool of girls over there, and you. You know, interact with them on a weekly basis and all that and you kind of like they each one of you know each one each other at so personal level and like you know um, so you guys know each other but you're kind of like uh, are interested in a certain girl but like you cannot you know, do that because like probably some of the guys already know uh, is into her or one of your friend is into that girl so you can't do anything about that particular girl because even if she is so beautiful and like cool and fun you can do anything about that because uh, she's already been taken right so how do you how do you find another hot chick like that who's fun and interesting not just hot chick fun interesting like overall package how would you give that kind of girl like go online internet tinder or something like that well you if, you if you're like you know if you don't have the social skill if you don't have that abundance uh, vibe if you're not projecting that abundance vibe from from within even if you go to, on the tinder or whatever beautiful girls especially the hot ones is like going to screen you uh, unless you are super attractive like you look like Brad Pitt and like you're rich and famous like she probably like you know um, re reject you all of a sudden and uh, you know because like, probably you're not that good looking uh, you probably you're not that as rich and famous so like you don't have you know so all these external factors you know probably you're not tall or strong these are the external factors uh, external factors that girls look in uh, look at your profile and like judge you by your profile okay so so if you don't have all these things what do I what am I saying be a, look like a bum and go out and talk to the girl and you use you know, Try to get a lot of numbers and like you know increase your chances of girl uh, with girls i'm not saying that but like you know you definitely want to improve the way you groom yourself the way you dress yourself the way you present yourself you need so if you're not not there uh then you need to start doing that like you know go hit the gym and like you know, improve your physique and uh, improve the way you look and groom yourself and have a proper haircut and like you know brush your feet and like and shave i haven't i haven't done that like but uh, I'm, I'm doing on that uh, it's been like a couple of days right? so dress well and all that and like these are the external factors that are the external factors that you want to focus on right now and then you know you also want to build another thing that is social skills without social skills um, without that experience under your belt experience of talking with lots of girls under your belt you're not going to be able to seduce beautiful girls pretty girls right who gets like you know hit on by so many guys so many clueless guys she starts to like you know uh, shut them down like they, they, she probably put them all down in a friend zone so what you want to do is like you know if you want to stand out from all this pull of hound dogs who approach her over a lifetime you probably want to like go and like you know gain a lot of experience train yourself you got to gain a lot of experience uh, 
what I mean by that is like going out and talk with a lot of girls, especially uh, out there, especially the girls whom you don't know, you know, whom you never met before, whom who ne- just don't know anything about you, and who uh, and with whom you can game on, like you know, because uh, she does, she doesn't know about any past, and she she can she cannot reject you because of your past or something like that, because of a past failure and all that. So all she has is she just sees you once it meets you, and she doesn't have any clue about your past, and she just like judge you by how you present and, and yourself at that moment when you're talking with her, and the kind of vibe that you're projecting out when you're talking with her at that moment, based on this, uh, you know, based on this elements, components, he's gonna, you know, either put you in a high fat value guy category or simply another dude who is just like, you know, who is a creepy and needy dude, right? So, if you go out and like start picking up girls, almost on a regular basis, almost at least three times a week, then you, you know, over time, like probably after like 30 to 90 days, you'll realize you're like, even you suck at game. I mean, like also, I'm not like guru. I'm not saying I'm guru. I, I'm so smooth, but I have a, I've gotten laid through the cold pickup. Uh, so I have some experience. So I'm like talking with a beginner, Two intermediate guys all right so what I'm saying is if you just go out and you know gather all the experience and gather phone numbers and like you know just like uh, keep on like you know a moving your interaction towards your desired outcome that is probably if you are interested in her sexually or like if you are interested in her in a relationship wise you want to make her a girlfriend if you like you know keep on taking actions small action towards that particular objective you're going to be massively successful within one to three months so you know you and then this is the cheat code pick up is a cheat code to living a rock star kind of life because you're just a normal dude but just because you talk with so many girls on a regular basis and you know you have so much of numbers so many numbers in your phone and you go out on a date on almost on a daily basis you know I mean who does that who is doing that only rock stars does that right but I assume like you're not a rock star you're not a celebrity you're not a king you're not that you know leader or something like you're a normal dude me I'm a normal dude but you know I used to date three girls a week I'm not saying yeah, I used to date like three girls a week. Like, you know, three girls were chasing after me a week. You know, simply by making, forcing myself or like, you know, motivating myself to go out and take massive action, start picking up girls with whatever information I had. I didn't have to learn everything from A to Z of seduction. I just like wanted, I took whatever information I wanted to learn, then went out and applied it once I started to, uh, you know, open girls, after that I could have some small talk with them, uh, like probably funny, exciting, and engaging conversation. And then I said that, out of that, like, you know, I got flicked, I got numbers, I get flicked. And then I slowly started to, like, share of that nice guy. Uh, and then I started to qualify them, screen those girls, like, you know, by asking, are you fun enough? I got to be fun and interesting when you are out with me hanging around like because I want to have fun I don't want boring girls like sort of like that you know bad guy starts to you sort of develop that jerk behavior Jer- not jerk like a bad boy the manly behavior because you got so many uh, times rejected you got rejected so many times and flaked up and disrespected by girls so many times and you start to stand up for yourself and then you actually look for what you want in a relationship with a girl you actually qualify girls a lot of girls based on those criteria are you going to be fun when we go out are you going to have fun with me are you going to in um, you know do this do that like you're not actually trying to control her but like there are certain things that 
you enjoy doing and uh, you're like trying to screen her if she also fits into what you like to do so you, if you do this like you're most likely going to meet the girl who's highly compatible to your lifestyle uh, you know she's going to be the girl you're going to end up with is more likely to be uh, almost have the same kind of hobbies and the interests as you have and then like you're most likely going to have a good relationship based on compatibility a lot of compatibility similarities uh, and then like you know you don't have to you know compromise on uh, like what makes you happy you can just like go out and do things what whatever makes happy to you both and then like you know start a good life like you know, it's not like girl is not going to make you happy like the things that you do to have fun makes you happy so if you include the girl in that picture and not lose focus on the fun then the relationship is going to you know keep on you're going to keep the girl because you're focused on the fun you're, you're making the relationship light funny exciting uh, innovation and all that so uh, that's what you need to do do that and that's why the pickup is a cheat code because in the shortest period of time you get to you know have all those numbers dates and even like sexual encounters that are all, uh, only kings in the ancient time could have that and uh, if you're a regular dude you know pickup is a cheat code for you you should start to like develop this skill uh, after certain other things, for example, after no fat or semen retention, uh, you want to you know, channelize this energy that you have to go out and meet a lot of girls and like build your social skills and but be that guy, attractive dude that you are, and uh, you know take things and live it like a lifestyle of a rock star. That's all you got to do. This is like experience and to trying to trying to screen girls who fit into your lifestyle and not like in a be part of the lifestyle but like you know try to screen girls who will fit into your lifestyle when you do this you're gonna find highly attractive girls girls who are highly compatible and highly attracted to you all right so pardon for my english like but i think like you got my point if you want more content like this make sure you subscribe to the video below uh to my channel below and i'm going to come out with new content on a regular basis thank you so much for watching